haven't had a fucking beard in years and I probably look like my old man. That's all right. I've got abs, lots of abs. <laughs> all right, guys, what is up? Julian's way here, and I do not know if you understand or you heard what I said, but I was basically saying has been years since I had a beard like that and I probably look like my old man so yeah but I have a lot of abs so this is my, my first day of prep some potatoes rice and so on I was eating crackers mustard and I was at my friend's place and I had to get in a meal so I did tuna and some spinach kalaloo with water crackers if you do not know what a crackers is check it out and September 4th 2019 that is this is how I look in the morning. I always check myself out in the morning. I get to work early and I check myself out, see how I'm looking before I start eating and getting fluids in my body and water and so on. So this is how I was looking. If I'm gonna have to judge myself, I look pretty flat, skinny, you know. At this time people, I, I was still not dieting 100% back, but started to clean my diet up. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. yep that's pretty much what I look like in the morning there I go the 6th of September a couple days after man I had to throw that ice cream away I, I just felt bad about it I was having ice cream I was binging didn't want the ice cream to waste but I couldn't give it away because I had already dug into it so I started to get really serious from here on in September actually and the show was October 19th so shoulders fitness 53 Guyana check it out it's owned by a cricketer if you do not know for those who do not know I didn't think I mentioned it in my previous videos but this was the same ice cream day ice cream sink day so to speak and this is how I do my uh, shoulders warm up this is how I do my flies my side laterals so I did a couple more sets went to get a little bit more heavyweight just to shock the muscle keep that density and then drop sets I do drop sets for like everything I just keep doing drop sets and drop sets and then if I cannot handle both at the same time flying I do them single I just gotta get a pump and finish it pretty flat there but a little lean yeah so like I said drop sets drop sets Especially when you're trying to like lose fat. I think this is a good way. It's like a kind of a Cardio weighted cardio so to speak moving up and down challenging yourself picking up the weights and then I went on to do some seated shoulder press Did not get a good angle guys the lighting was bothering me so setting up the camera where you could see the shoulders was kind of hard and uh, I did went on to do some single Anything you're trying to develop or try to build symmetry, it's advised that you do that particular body part uh, a couple more reps or sets. Legs, biceps, triceps, shoulder, same thing. Dumbbells, machine, cables, whatever it is. And look at my face. Damn. Yep, that's how it is. So I went on to do some uh, sit down cable. I wouldn't say face pull because I'm really putting it up more to like my neck. You do not want to go too high. Or well, people call it face pose like this. When you engage too high, you get your traps involved. If you just do this, you'll feel here getting tight. If you drop it, it's less tense. So that alone tells you you're getting your traps involved. So I was keeping it there. That's where I feel comfortable with. And if you can squeeze and hold back, depending on how heavy you're going. And so on. So again, drop sets, drop sets, drop sets. Yeah, like I can still remember these days. That Yeah, there I go again guys, uh, just drop sets, I had like 225 plays and I had on a, a 10 pound, another set, then a 10 pound, and then the drop set. So it's like about 4 sets. 
one set two set then like a drop maybe two or three it depends and some rear delt dumbbell raises some people might call it flies because of the movement you're flying but sometimes it's more like a raise so this here I do not know it's more like a fly for me that's how I felt uh, the raises would be more like a rowing movement and a lightweight a heavyweight maybe I, I started off with like 15 and then I went on to like uh, 25 or 30 pounds and then I went back for the drop there are more than one ways to do this depending on how you position your elbow inside outside more straight more slanted it depends on how you want to hit the rear delts so you've got to try and work around and see what works for you but I love these you do not need to go all the way up if you go all the way up you get more traps involved again the, the rear delt that muscle at the back is just a small muscle there yep pretty much my conditioning was coming in and another drop sets I did not do particular sets just drop sets drop sets drop sets that's how I feel I feel if I want to go two or three sets and then do it one drop two drop two three, four, five, five, five. scrawny arms and again drop 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 sets drop drop maybe I'll get him back into that mood when I really uh, get back into the gym hopefully that happens soon and this here is Smith machine what can I say lateral raises all right it's it's for the side delts just about here and the Smith machine now this here you will feel it according to how high you pull some people go back right down I do not like to go back down because you kind of like tend to rest the weight on your traps and not your shoulders so just keep it like a sweet spot and get it how high you can get it and you need to go like sh shoulder width or a little bit wider I prefer to go as you can see me going wider if you go narrow you will get more of your traps involved so yeah um, so flat and small but I was getting lean so I was sacrificing size to get lean maybe I could have done both but this is the way I choose this is the way I wanted to go I know the guys that are coming were going to be bigger than me and not natural so yeah drop sets again people drop sets you know but there's more more than one way to look at it and what the judges thought and so on so keep watching and you'll see what happens in the end but yep rope pull down extensions some people call it their own names I call it rope pull down extensions and the overhead rope extensions this is just to get a stretch you see when that goes back like this if you do not know you get a stretch in your biceps so on your triceps sorry and the the pull downs are more isolated all right the pull downs are more isolated the overhead anything with overhead will give your triceps the muscle tissue the fascia tissue uh, a bit more stretch some people prefer to come right down some people prefer to stay out I love to do them this way that because that's how I feel comfortable with them all right some people prefer to stand up straight and go into them go into it but if you're doing it heavy and you go into it and you stand straight I kind of that kind of tells on at least my shoulders a bit more so I prefer to lean out and focus more on that extension and that squeezing and yeah set set sets I did this by themselves I mix it up I switch it up I just go with the flow I do not follow a specific regimen I do not write it out 
I do not watch nobody work out and exactly copy it. I might put something in there from somebody that I saw on YouTube or a pro or work out back in the days or I'll just go with the feeling. And here is the V-Var push downs again. I was doing a lot of sets, a lot of, a lot of sets. I do not know how I managed to do so many workouts with that amount of uh, food. <laughs> Calories were low, maybe uh, about in 1600s, 1700s, no I do not think it I had reached 1700s, I was like about 1600 calories roughly, like I said I, I lost that uh, inflammation in my phone, alright, and uh, I did uh, recover the, the cardio, so on this week I was doing about 45 minutes of cardio, I raised the cardio to 15 minutes more in uh, 7 weeks out, 8 weeks out it was half an hour, and seated cable extension machine but i did not sit on it i feel more comfortable like this like i say you've got to create your own sweet spot and sweet zone where you feel comfortable providing that you're getting it done now this is a replacement for the kickback extensions whereby you go like this a lot of people cannot do it right even just the other day i was explaining to a guy how you do them and I was telling him you do not need to drop your arm, you just do or keep them high on a way that you can handle. There, there I am showing off my triceps. You guys got to let, let's see that, you know, you can see a little bit of lines coming out there. Not good enough, so yeah, about less than seven weeks out, so well, about seven. So I had enough time to dial in. But like I said, keep watching and you'll see. <laughs> Where I went good, where I may have been wrong, I do not know. Like I said, last minute, last couple of days, everything matters. So I finish off with some close grip push-ups, guys. Diamond push-ups to failure. And that's it. All right, that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell button. Give the video a thumbs up. Leave your comments and likes. And so on. Until my next video, guys. Peace and take care. And yep, those are rocking with home workouts right now. Drop sets. Yep.